So this question is a diagram question. So I know that because of this table provided here. So I'm gonna take a look at this table first and then read the information. So I have long jump distances here. We have two people, Aditi and Bella. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five of these distances for each of them. So the question says Aditi and Bella each attempted the long jump five times during the track meet and their distances are shown in the table. Okay, so we see that. So all of Aditi's distances are shown. Bella has only four out of her five because we have this unknown one for the first one. The mean distance for Bella's attempts was 0 0.3 meters greater than the mean distance for Aditi's attempts. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into translate word problem mode, right? So that's another strategy, TWP, because I can actually figure out what the mean distance for um, for both of their attempts where I can find out the mean distance for Aditi's attempts for sure because we have all of her attempts right here. So if you remember, we find the mean by just adding up all the values and then dividing by the number of values we have. So I'm going to go to my calculator, add up 4.2 plus 3.8 plus 3.2 plus 4.0 plus 4.3. That's equal to 19.5 divided by five, because there's five attempts there, so divide by five, and I get 3.9. So there is the average for DT, 3.9. Now we're told that Bellas is 0 0.3 greater, which means 3.9 to my calculator plus 0.3 is 4.2, so Bellas should be at 4.2. Now, again, I can now write down the fact that, well, how do I find the mean for Bella? Well, Bella's mean, which I know is 4.2, is equal to the sum of all of these guys plus that plus this x, right? So x plus, and I'm just going to put all this into a single number instead of writing it all down. So let's find what that single number is. 4.4 4 plus 3.7 plus 3.8 plus 4.6 equals 16.5. Right, so 16.5 plus the unknown distance, all divided by 5, should equal 4.2. Where I can do some algebra now to isolate this missing x. So I multiply both sides by 5. So 5 times 4.2 is 21. Right, so this is, I should do like that. So this is 21 equals x plus 16.5. And then, of course, I can just subtract... 16.5 away from the 21, and I get that x is equal to 4.5. So my solution there is 4.5.